Guess who's back? That's right. It's your best friend, J. Cole, here live at BVN. You know what we got going on? We got a little special interview with one of the queens of comedy. That's right. Some more will be right here live with your best friend. Stay logged on for more. Let's go. Once again, it's your best friend, J. Cole. Thank you for staying logged on to BVN. Like I told you, we rock with the best and the finest. Comedian to raise in the building. What's good, baby? Hey, what's good, man? It's nothing, man. You know what I always tell people? You're Philly's favorite comedian, soon to be yours, in the building, opening up for the Chandelier Status Tour. So happy to be in San Antonio, man. It's a great place. Man, man that's so the Chandelier Status yeah. Tour. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what what's up. It. Like we call it, man. It's like when uh when the president get on a plane, it automatically right, become right. Air Force One. Right, right, right. Anytime the Queen of Comedy is in the building, it become a chandelier status event. So automatic. When we be moving around, we call it the chandelier status tour, man. Man, nice. yeah. okay. Now let's talk about moving around. Mm -hmm. Now a uh, couple cities where y'all have hit and yeah. where where, where y'all going? Everywhere. We go everywhere they want to see the queen, everywhere they like live stand-up comedy. Okay, okay. Uh, we do a lot of the improvs, we do a lot of the independent clubs. Shout out to Tommy T's. A lot of those clubs are standing on their own just by the strength of live stand-up comedy. She loves to pay attention to them. Um, but recently we were just in Oakland. We got Kentucky coming up. We got wow. Dallas coming up. We got uh, uh, Houston off the top, right, uh, right, Rochester, right. New York. So okay. it's just, you know, we just stay working. Man. Okay, now, so since, you know, rolling with one of the queens yeah, of comedy, yeah, yeah. now, how's, how's the love been? What's been going down from city to city? Well, I get a lot of love because I'm funny. But, uh, <laughs> no, with that, with that. I mean, and, I mean, it's like this French benefits. Like, I'm on tour with a female act. Right. So, you know, they all come out. It's that, it's that very funny, first of all, not to be biased, right. but she's very funny. So it's right. that. So then she gets the crowd of women that just want to see her. Okay, then okay. there's guys that have never seen her, but they got to bring their lady. And then it's like, yeah, wow. Yeah, so she yeah. gives that great show. But when you have a whole show where the feature is funny and she's coming up and bringing the man, it, goes it, down. it just it, it just goes down. We're just having a good time, man. Banana. Good time, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so Ben, so, so that people can know more about you, give us a quick, quick little snapshot company background. What's been with you? Uh, started in Philadelphia. I'm... Uh, Deep in the game, man. I'm, a, I'm a, what you call a working comic. I've been doing stand-up for about 20 years. Wow. Started when I was young. So okay, I started okay, young. Okay, and okay. I just got a, uh, got a good place when I first started at the Laugh House. Okay, okay. Uh, that brewed a lot of great Philly talent. Um, Kevin Hart came out of the Laugh House. Okay, Mike right. Blackson comes out of the Laugh right, House. Right, right. Ray came out of the Laugh House. So it's a lot of talent that came through. And then being geographically between New York and D.C., okay. I grew up with Joe Claire, yeah, uh, Fat see. Doctor, a lot of D.C. Right, comics, right. New York talent, Capone, all those cats. So I was... I came up just being able to geographically be okay, okay. in three markets in two hours. Okay. So I just worked wow. and got my break on TV with Def Jam and yeah, Comic yeah, yeah, View yeah, yeah, and yeah. put the work in. And I was actually working the Atlantic City Comedy Festival, okay. uh, which is a, a yearly thing they do in Atlantic City. And she was, uh, uh, Samore was the, the right. headliner. Right. And her, her manager saw me and he was like, yo, you know, you uh, want to roll with us? I wow. Like, I like that. That's how fate works. Yeah, yeah that's how, all I had to do was buy a suit, which you see, I'm sweating my brain out of <laughs> him. But, uh, and it takes the heat, baby. It, it is. Because it, 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 it was like, damn, I was just good a second ago. Yeah. Man. Just, oh, it got hot. But yeah, it's a, it's a great thing, man, to jump on and be right. a, a part of this. So. Okay, so bet. I love to hit all the people we interviewed. We talk with here at BVN. Mm -hmm. Love to hit them with this question, mm -hmm. especially from this era. So let me know. Favorite old school jam of all times. Mm -hmm. Now, old school, now, now I know some people say 90, some 70, 80. You can go 90 because I know Do Edition when BBD was doing anything. So let me know. What was your, what was that you know joint? What, you know what's funny because I was on tour with New Edition. Okay. Thanks to some more just sidebar. But right. when I watched them, I was like, wow, man, they're like our eras. Yeah. OJ's or, or not so much OJ's temptation. Yeah. It was right. that level. And I said, man, I just never really paid attention to him because when New Edition came out, we was in competition. That was my age. They were yeah. taking my chicks. Taking chicks. So I've never really, but my favorite old school jam, like if, uh, a song that means a lot to me, is Princess of Door. Okay. Just like when you put that on and you yeah. hear that boom, that was at the time where I was starting to get into relationships yeah, yeah, and yeah. love and all that. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, when I hear that, it, it just it immediately okay. takes me back. But I mean, there's so many joints like. Right. Uh, uh, I love a lot of early Patti LaBelle, You Are okay. My Friend. Wow. You know, because that's that Philly thing. You know, yeah, just yeah, coming yeah, out yeah, of Philly, yeah, you would yeah, hear yeah. that a lot. A lot of that Philly sound, the OJs, okay. the Whispers. Okay. And um, uh, one of my favorite songs, man, is uh, The Backstabbers. Wow. Yeah. Okay. The beat. The beat. The beat. The Fierce. Beat. Something, something. So check this out. For people who want to keep in touch with you, find out where you at, all the good stuff, holla at me on the Instagram, Facebook. Twitter account. Uh, at Comedy by Toure. Now listen, if you don't know how to spell comedy, I really probably don't want you following. That pretty much. C-O-M-E-D-Y <laughs> B-Y and it's T-U-R-A-E. Now my name is really spelled T-U capital R-A-E. It's two words, okay, but man. online, you know. Okay. And, and Facebook, same thing? Everything. 
Yeah, like that. Hey, man, my baby mind can find me very easily. From wow. So you should be able to find me. Comedy by you right. Hey, it's your best friend, J. Cole. Killing with Philly's finest. Terrain in the building. Appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you. Stay logged on for more. Thanks staying logged on to BVN's best friend, J. Cole. Rocking the best. And speaking of the best, we down with the queen. That's how we roll. None other than the beautiful s'mores in the building. What's going on with you? I'm good. How are you? Man, loving San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio's loving you. Loving the love that I'm getting, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's been, a good, it's been a great weekend. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now th this tour, mm -hmm. the Chandelier Status Tour, right? Well, it's not a chandelier status tour. The chandelier status is the movement that I okay. do. It's a way that I choose to live my life. Right, right. Um, I live my life as, as a chandelier. And what it means to be a chandelier is, you know, the chandelier is the one light fixture in the room okay. that doesn't have to match anything. Okay. It doesn't have to match the curtains. It doesn't have to match the furniture. It just is what it is. Right, right. And you can turn on every light in a room. It takes no nothing away from the shine of a chandelier. Okay. I live my life on chandelier status because I don't compete with anybody else. Gotcha. I just do what I do. Do you and focus on working on being the best me that I could be and right. as a chandelier you bring light to your situation Everything is not always gonna be great True. But if you True. have a right right mindset mm -hmm. and bring light to the situation find the good in everything wow. That's just the way I choose to live my life So when I say live my life on chandelier status, uh -huh. that's what I encourage people to do okay. live your life on chandelier status We live in a group thinking society. All right, you know, right, and so right. A lot of times people lose their individuality and then they find themselves frustrated and it's because you stop thinking as an individual that's right. why you frustrated comedian and yeah. philosopher you didn't know that to be a philosopher you, you didn't know that but that's real but that's, that's real. what i push that's being real. on chandelier status that's real. And, right. and people need to see this the real side because people so many times they see the celebrities and they know the celebrity status but then it's real what you just gave was like real heart and soul stuff that people right now is like yo that was deep it keep you from losing your mind for, for real, real for, for real. real for real in today's time in today's time especially yeah. so, everything that's going on in society but bring it back to the funny queen of comedy former BET host. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could run down the, the pedigree of the list of all the great things you've done. Yeah. My sisters, you've been, you've been working. I, I'm, you know, and that's all it really is. That's all it really is. You know, as an artist, you just, I'm just glad that first of all, they're still buying what I'm selling. Mm -hmm. After 25 years in this business, wow. I work hard at it. I mean, I, I do dedicate myself to it. I, mm -hmm. I write new jokes. I try to stay current, you know, and, 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 um, I self-produce a lot of my own okay. things, so okay. you know, right, right. I, I make a way. Yeah. And really, yeah. at the end of the day, it's really just work. Okay. It really is right. it's just work. And, and, I'm, and speaking of work, 25 years strong mm -hmm. and still, do you see, you, you see, right? You seeing what I'm seeing, right? It, you ain't even looking. You ain't even looking right now. Still looking beautiful. Still got it all together, sister. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember the Celebrity Fit Club. You was doing it. Celebrity Fit Club, oh my God, remember? You I, was working. And and I actually went there to learn to lose weight. Uh -huh. I, I did. And you you, you mm, maintain thank it. You. you. Thank maintain you. Thank you. So, okay, so when people come out to the show, when they hear that you're in town, uh, I know we're not going to give away no jokes, but I mean, what kind of, I, I, how do I ask the queen what flair and flavor she's bringing when I know what you're bringing? Well, I just bring the real. You know, I just talk about the real live stuff that's going on mm -hmm. in today's society, in our communities. Let's just kick it like for me whenever i hit a city I, it's like i have friends here mm. and you know how you have those friends and we haven't spoken in a minute yeah, i just got to yeah, tell y'all yeah, man what, yeah, what's yeah. been going on right, right. what y'all think about what's going on on the news right. and that's what we do we just kick it real. it's really just kicking it but i find the joke in it and it makes you it do. all good you do it's really you do. good and that's, and that's that's the thing that people understand about comedy comedy is just a comedian's view on life right. you just bring them to life for them. you know somebody once said if you ever want to know what's going on in a community listen to what the comedians are talking about yes and that's the that's the truth everything from church to family reunions yes. to police yes. brutality i mean yes. all the craziness yes. now i know you have a lot going on we don't hold you too much longer in regards to like social media you got your twitter facebook stuff yes. like that jumping off um I, i'm on twitter at some more so funny and um, I'm on Instagram at some more and on Facebook at some more and that's some more s o m m o r e thank you because some people they yeah. they act like a literally you know they they don't they don't is it two O's or is it is it cap is two S's it's crazy because 25 years I've had people come to my show sit through an hour of performance uh -huh. and at the end of the night still call me Simone well. so you know it's some more. You got to pray for those people. It's some more all day long. Some more. It hadn't changed. Some more. Let it roll off your lips. Right. Some more. Hey, it's your best friend, J. Cole, with one of the queens of comedy yes, on the chandelier. Yeah.
it's some it's some more the queen of comedy aka the one chandelier aka your baby daddy's favorite comedian aka my mama said i'm the shit i'm your comedian tonight aka your baby daddy's favorite comedian it's your best friend j cole stay logged on for more we'll holler at you next time baby let's go Hey, thanks for staying logged on. It's your best friend, J. Cole. We had a blast today with none other than comedian Torre representing Philly's finest and, of course, the beautiful, the one and only Samoa. Spend some knowledge about that Chandelier way of living things. Hey, she's a beautiful person both inside and out, and the interview went down. For more information on this topic and many more, don't hesitate, don't perpetrate. Holler at your boy on my email, jcole at blackvideonews.com. Once again, that's J-C-O-L-E at blackvideonews.com. See you next time. Stay blessed.